At the end of December 2008, the Israel Defense Forces embarked upon the Khaz-led operation, a defensive operation aimed at stopping the shooting of Hamas missiles at cities in southern Israel. The Hamas is an Islamic resistance movement, a terror organization which aims to destroy the state of Israel and it does not balk at attacking civilian population cruelly and systematically. Hamas is responsible for dozens of suicide attacks in which hundreds of Israeli civilians were murdered. At the beginning of 2006, Hamas won a significant majority in a democratic election. Despite international pressure, it refused to change its nature, continued its aggression and succeeded in kidnapping an Israeli soldier, Gilad Shalit. During Operation Cast Lead, Hamas committed a double war crime. Not only did Hamas attack Israeli civilians, but it used Gaza civilians as a human shield. This is the main reason why uninvolved civilians were killed. The Palestinian Center for Human Rights PCHR, published a comprehensive and detailed list of the victims, full name, age, sex, occupation, and more. That list helped the PCHR to justify a previous claim, that Israel intentionally murders civilians. The military wing of Hamas, the Isandin al-Qasim brigades, published its fighters who were killed during the operation. It is now possible to validate whether the list of civilians which was distributed throughout the world by the Palestinian Center for Human Rights is indeed worthy of the credibility it received from human rights organizations and the media. Cross-checking the claim with the Isandin al-Qasim brigades, reveals quite a bit of the truth. Nevertheless, it is only one of Hamas's militant wings. The Hamas has three militant wings, the Isandin al-Qasim brigades, the executive police force, and the Morbidan. Not only the three militant wings of Hamas participated in the combat, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and the Al-Aqsa Martyrs brigades, participated as well. The Israel Defense Forces took extreme measures to prevent civilian casualties, even by revealing military targets through the media, leaflets, and phone calls to the residents. Inevitable Conclusions A. The majority of the casualties during Operation Castlet were militants. B. The Palestinian Center for Human Rights, PCHR, blatantly lied and distorted the findings.